just as though we just saw in the previous case that in an epidermal inclusion cyst, the epithelium turns inward to form a cyst, here is a common condition in which the epithelium grows outward like a papilla with a fibrovascular core, which of course is what the definition of a papilla is. It's a fibroepithelial finger with a connective tissue core lined by epithelium. This is a fibroepithelial polyp. They are also called skin tags. They're also very, very, very common, especially with age. They're related to diabetes. They've uh, talked about a whole bunch of viruses that might be involved with them. They're very common. They're totally benign. They're often removed for cosmetic reasons. And um, it looks exactly like normal skin, except the skin appears to be growing a little bit outward as a polyp rather than flat along the surface. Here's the stratum corneum. Here's the rest of the epidermal layers. Here's the basal layer. And here are some uh, blood vessels, which would normally be a dermis. This was on the surface. But in this case, these blood vessels, a vein here, a vein here, three veins here, maybe a vein or a um, lymphatic there, and one, two, maybe three little arteries here. These are within the uh, fibroepithelial core. Um, this is very classical for it, and this is going to be a short video because I really don't have anything more to say. Oh, if I didn't mention it, these are also called acrochordons. Thank you very much.